Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a colour and chat. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults. They're in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. So today we're going to be colouring Ladies of Nature Grayscale Colouring Book by Elena Lazareva. Uh, this has been requested, so I'm really scared because I'm not very good at grayscale with pencils. So just as an update on how I'm getting on with Whimsy Girls um, of the decades and my flapper, I still haven't finished it. But as you can see, it is coming on now. This is the, what it's looked like. So next time you see this one, it will be complete and it'll be at the end of the month. There's not a lot to do. As you can see, I've just got this corner to do and then the rest of the ticker tape to, to color in. So like I said, I have not done a proper grayscale picture like this. I've done the ones in Gothic Alchemy and I've done some of the ones from Jade Summer but to do something like this, this is completely new for me so you'll have to bear with me so I'm going to go in very lightly with um, Cream Peach which is a Prisma colour number which is, I think it's 3 something oh, 927, see I don't even know what colour it is now this is very light grey scale so I don't know how this is going to work at all like I said I have never done this before so this is kind of new, so bear with me. How are you all? Are you okay? It's quite warm here in the UK, uh, it's 28 degrees, um, we use 28 degrees C, so that's quite hot, <laughs> I'm not very good in the hot weather but it's not been too bad because yesterday was Friday not a lot happened yesterday but today we went uh, well we went we went to, to see a will writer yesterday but other than that not much happened today we just hung around the garden we didn't go anywhere it was too hot and we sat in the, the um, paddling pool to cool off for part of the morning and then we came in and had lunch about one-ish then it was really hot so instead of going back out we uh, stayed in and I had another one of my headaches because of the bloody weather I, I get terrible terrible sinus headaches and um, pressure headaches from when it's very humid so I had to lie down just for an hour or so and then about four o'clock to twenty past four we went back out and got back into the paddling pool at this point the water was fairly fairly warm so we um, put some more cold water in chilled it off and by the time we got out it was about half past five um, it was really warm again so my battery's gone already I won't be a second there we are that's better it happens every time I should really just change the battery every time I start a video but I don't yeah so by the time we got out of it, it was getting warm again so we put the cover on and had our, our sort of buffet style tea outside uh, and then it was getting on a bit and we were tired being out in the sun most of the day came in watched some television with Jennifer for a bit, popped her to bed and then we did a quiz which was a general knowledge quiz. We never do very well at those. We, we don't do very well at any of the quizzes, what am I on about? We came in uh, 20th I think, something like that. It was a good laugh, we had a good time. And, and that's what it's about, there was about 49 people playing so we were above halfway, I know that. It's just a bit of fun, it's something to do because even though the pubs are open, having a very young child is very difficult to go out. Uh, finding babysitters, especially at, this, at the moment, so my mum and dad are a bit too old really, so for babysitting at their age, they have done in the past but only if we've been going somewhere quite local but uh, yeah, I need a new one of these, I haven't got a new one of these have I? Oh, I have got any one of these. Phew! 
have got a new one of these. Um, I must have ordered one a while back because this is the one I use most of the time when I'm colouring my prismas for the skin. I'm thinking that if they come down to around what I paid last time, they have been down that like that this year. I didn't have the money then. I have got some money now put away that I will treat myself to another complete set because I just think I might as well. I'm slowly replacing all my black widows because I'm using them all the time. I have got a brush somewhere, but I don't know where it is. There it is. Aha! But yeah, it's getting a bit short. I'll need to get an extender out for this at some, some point. So yeah, it was a lovely day. It's supposed to be hot again tomorrow, so tomorrow we do have to do our normal food shopping. Yeah, which is obviously the most boring thing in the world. Although, Lidl's are supposed to have their gel pens in. So if they've got them in, I'm going to pick up a couple of packets. I might pick up a pack for Jen for Christmas. Pop them in her stocking. And I've ordered her a couple of the Toddler Jade Sun books. They've got Animals for Toddlers and Christmas for Toddlers, so... I've ordered her those. I don't know when they're coming. But yeah, it's all go, isn't it? So we went to see the, the nursery that Jennifer's going to start going to in um, September. It's very, very nice. Very impressive. Uh, the woman that set it up, she's wanted to do it for a long time. She's been working in um, something called Fly and Start, which is a uh, thing for certain areas, our areas not in it, um, where more... <sighs> I don't want to say poorer, but more deprived areas tend to be in it. I don't know. It, it, it's done on your postcode, so for some reason some areas aren't in it, but and ours isn't. Um, and it's just providing service, nursery services and uh, play groups and things. But I don't really get it, because obviously we weren't in the right area, just. Um, and she's worked for that for the council for years, so... She's and before that she's been working childcare since she was eighteen, so she's she's got all the qualifications and she was very nice and Jennifer was amazing with her. Jennifer's so shy, she usually hides. But when we got there, we got there a bit early and she was upstairs on the phone because she's still working for the council at the moment on the fly and start. But um, so she was upstairs and so Jennifer had a little explore around the room. So I think perhaps because she was upstairs Jennifer wasn't so scared. She got used to the room and she was walking around it and having a look and had some puzzles out so she started playing with the puzzles with the fruit and took all the shapes out and then matched them back up and then she did it with the dinosaurs because she loves dinosaurs. I knew she'd want them. She sat by the dinosaurs straight away and then the lady came down and Jennifer smiled at her which she never smiles at strangers like that. Um, and then she went over and sat at another table moving the chair around that she wanted to sit on and started drawing um, which was also good and she just seemed to really enjoy it and she was pulling out all the musical instruments and the dolls and the toys and the train and books I don't know why there's an insect on my Lincoln pick page. Sorry, uh, yeah, so she was having a really good time. Um, so I'm, I was really pleased and very proud of her because she was ever so good. And for her to not hide behind either me and Paul, for her to smile at a lady, she ran around in the garden. It was lovely. Absolutely hammered down on the walk home because we'd walk down because it's walking distance. 
and so we walked home it was soaking and she wanted to jump in the puddles and I said well go on then jump in the puddles you've been a good girl you can jump in the puddles why not and uh, she absolutely loved it so I'm just building up some layers on this colour now better at the top now so like I say I'm not very good at this sort of grayscale stuff because I don't do it very often and this is the first time I've ever done anything like this on camera so but I wanted to try one of these books I've heard so many people have gone on but how brilliant her books are that I wanted to get one and have a look and I, I do like it I think it, the pictures are stunning and I hope I can I can do them justice but obviously the better the more I practice with grayscale the better I'll get the more confident so that's why I've been buying a few grayscale books I've got a Molly Harrison one I haven't coloured in yet so I'll hopefully do that soon so it's lucky I'm filming this because it's like on 11 and uh, it's Saturday night I just want to go to bed and sleep so normally I make two or three videos in one go like the flip throughs and stuff but tonight it's just this one and that's fine that's enough for me and then I'll be uh, snuggling down and trying to get some sleep if you can hear the fan in the background um, I hope it's not um, too loud that it's uh, interfering with the, the the sound it's just that it's so hot in this room now I, I need something on to cool it down and my eyes are absolutely drooping so I've just rejoined a Marilyn fan club that I was a member of back in the 90s um, right up to around the year 2001 so I joined in 96 I think something like that um, and it's called Some Like It Hot, it's based in Germany and it's run by a different person now um, but it's still going and the magazine is now called, well it was just called Some Like It Hot previously the magazine is, is now called uh, Marilyn Today and I've heard very good things about it, I've been moving to rejoin and rejoin for a long time this guy's actually watched my videos, my Marilyn book collection video on, on YouTube I hadn't realised it but he had and so he messaged me, I said I wanted to join, he messaged me the details and I've gone and paid and he'll be sending me out my first issue on Monday because it's actually just come back from the printers today. So that was very good timing. So um, those of you who like Marilyn, would you like to see my Marilyn fan club newsletter collection? It's quite big. Um, because I've been uh, a member of several fan clubs uh, over the years and I've also got um, newsletters from other fan clubs I wasn't a member of that I've picked up at uh, markets and boot fairs and on eBay so for instance the one I was the, the longest member of was Marilyn Society which is run by my friend the author Michelle Morgan and that's how I know her, I know her from there, I've known her for years and then there, there was that one, there was the Some Like It Hot Club there was the Australian Fan Club, I don't think that's running anymore I haven't heard anything from the girl that ran that for a long time she's not on Facebook as far as I know and then there was something called Marilyn Now and Then then there was Golden Dreams, they just didn't, they petered out they were very good quality and they just petered out into nothing there was Eternally Marilyn that became, went to nowhere um, there's the current one which is Mad About Marilyn and then I've got them from clubs I wasn't a member of so like All About Marilyn um, the Marilyn Appreciation Society which again was, is run by somebody I know um, on Facebook one of the Marilyn community I, I know him, he ran it in, uh, ran one in the 80s I've managed to pick up a couple of those so from that it's, it's 
I do, I haven't looked at them for a while, but this has made me want to look at them. So I've pulled out all the old Some Like It Hot ones and I'm going to go through them. And there's little nuggets of information in them. I wrote articles for the Michelle Morgan one. In the past, I was lucky enough to go to the Christie's auction in 1999, so I actually wrote an article about that. And it doesn't look like there's any colour on her face at all. I know at the top it does, where it's a bit thicker, where it's layered properly. Oh, it's just going to take forever. This is probably why I don't do grayscale. Because I hate layering like this, and this is going to take a lot of layers to get the colour to show through the grey. And I'm not that patient a colourer or colourist, which is why I like using markers or doing light art. But I do, I like, it is coming on now, I can, I can see it now, it is coming. So. Oh dear. So. This might take more than a couple of episodes because I'm going to have to build it up and I'm going to have to get the extender out for this soon. I know I'm looking, it look, probably looks like I'm like really pushing hard because my finger's all the way down here, but I'm not. I'm, I'm one of those people who can, I'm very light like this. If I hold it like this, I'm more likely to press it harder than like this. I think it's partly being left handed, everything's backwards. We do, we do do everything backwards. So I can keep going out of focus, but it's slowly coming on. So at the top, you can see the colour, but in the middle, you, you can't really see it. It is there, I can see it. So it is, um, it is getting there. Let's focus. Okay. Yeah, this pencil being so short is not helping. And it is short. Yes, I'm definitely, definitely going to need to get the um, extender out soon. Yeah, I do like this picture, that's why I picked this one. Not because it's, it is one of the more simpler ones, which I wanted. She's got um, like a toadstool or a mushroom on her head and then she's got some oak leaves and there's some strawberries and a daisy down here. And I thought, yeah, this is one of the easier ones because some of them are quite complicated. And I thought if I can, if I like this one, I'm more likely to colour in a harder one. Same with Gothic Alchemy, I'm more likely to colour in that again at some point. I do want to colour in that again soon. So I've actually read two books this week. I find it very difficult to read as well because I'm either colouring or I'm playing with Jen or I'm doing the quizzes or I'm doing my eBay but I got the new book by Andrew Cartmel, a vinyl detective uh, book uh, which is really good. Um, so that's a the new uh, it's called Low Action and I've read that, it took me two days but those books don't take me long because I love them and I had uh, Judy Garland by Paul Donnelly which is a small small biography of Judy Garland that came and I've actually finished that one as well which was good as well so it's an alright book it's not the best on Judy I will admit but it wasn't bad I, I did enjoy it so
I'm just going to a slightly darker beige, which is um, beige. So rather than cream peach or whatever it is, I'm just using beige, which is 997. One I've used a lot, as you can see, it's quite a long pencil. Um, so she's coming on now, coming on nicely. Now we've gone to a slightly different shade of sort of like a beigey colour, but it is it's more of a it's not a dark beige, it's a light one. So we're supposed to have on Monday night, or on Monday, some point on Monday, thunder and lightning now. I love thunder and lightning. Paul doesn't, but I love it. I do. It doesn't seem to bother Jennifer at all. She doesn't seem to wake up with it. So if that's the case, I'm quite happy for it to thunder. Paul doesn't like it. I love it, but I want to listen to it, which obviously is not good if you've got work the next day, which I actually have. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter really. A little bit of thunder on it. Just lie in bed, window open, listen to the thunder. If it's early enough, I'll sit up and see if I can see any lightning. Not likely from this room because it's the. If I'm sleeping in this room, if it's a video in night, it's um, facing the street, so it's all houses at the back. So I'm going brown, but oh god, my arms are itching from being in the sun. So that's her face so far. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to move on to her neck now and try and get some of this done so we can move on to something a bit more interesting. I'm just going to sharpen them. I'm using my Tegal sharpener because I've never got on with it. And I do like a, 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 a good point. That's better, that's the point, kind of point I want, obviously, on this one. Yeah, that's it, you can hear it now. But I, it seems to have figured it out better now, and it seems to be okay. So we'll go back in with our cream peach first before we go in with our beige. So, yeah, grayscale is a lot more difficult than difficult because obviously the shading's there so you don't have to put it in but it can be quite daunting if it's a complicated picture there's some complicated ones in here that one's not too bad but that one's a bit more in you know I quite like that one that one's cute too she's a little starfish um but yeah because you think how do you do it because you you learn to do line art and then suddenly you're faced with this gray everywhere and it's like well how do I do it, you know? And it takes longer. I, th I think it takes longer. If, unless you're using markers, of course. I'm not using markers on this. I wanted to have a go with my Prisoner colours. I've, I've used the Black Widows in Gothic Alchemy. And I've used the Arteza Everblends in Gothic Alchemy. But I've never not used the Prismas, which are one of my, you know, favourite pencils. Like I said, if they put them on offer the way that sort of, I don't mind paying a bit more, around the price that I got them for before. 
then I will happily jump at getting another set. But at the moment they're up at a hundred odd, more than a hundred and twenty quid. So I got mine for eighty eight. I think it was. It wasn't Black Friday. I got my pollies on Black Friday. It was just one of those deals they had, and I just happened to have some money. And it was just because we'd done, we'd had a bonus at work for oh, something or other, and I thought, you know what? I've got enough money to get the Prismas, they're on offer, it was just good timing, it was meant to be, so I got them. So I don't know what this looks like on camera, to me it looks okay, it could do with a bit more colour, so I'm probably going to do a bit more afterwards, that's the thing, I always find it looks a bit pale and washed out. It's probably me being a bit more careful. I'm going to uh, carry on. Now this is interesting because she's got these things on her her neck, which are obviously it's some um, part of her necklace, but they're tufts. So it's hard to know what to do with the around there because I could colour over it. And then I'd have to go over it again with whatever colour I'm going to do them in. So it's, um, hmm. That's the most complicated bit on this, I think. Uh, and of course, it's her shoulders are here and here. So. I probably will just go over all of that and then I'll go over the rest of it with whatever colour it is I'm going to do it. I'll just do the lines. I do like this book. I mean obviously I like the book, I wouldn't have bought it if I wasn't interested in it. I saw it and I thought, ooh that looks interesting, I'm going to have a, I'll have a go at that. So, I don't know, she might need a bit more, you know, brown or pink, I'm not actually sure. Let me know what you think, what sort of colour I should put on her skin to flesh it out a bit more. Because like I said, this you can hardly see on the camera. It is there but you can hardly see it and I'm not doing it, a lot of it because obviously I've got a lot of um, other things to do down there first, so we will do this bit though. I mean for this I've even got my swatch chart for the Prisma colours and normally I don't bother, I just grab a colour and go with the flow. So. I've got to be honest, I haven't used them for a while, so it's quite interesting to have a look at it and to try and, and colour with a pencil that I haven't colored. Because I tend to use my Black Widows a lot at the moment. And they're downstairs as well. I'm going to have to move because I'm getting uncomfortable here. Excuse me, I don't want to shut a drawer. I'm just changing position. I might knock the camera while I do this because I'm going to get onto the floor. It's a bit better. As long as I can see the screen, I might even be comfortable for a minute. Oh, right. Okay, that's better. The only thing is, I can't get to the pencils now. That's all right. I'm not worried too much at the moment because we're doing this bit. I hope you have an, you've had a nice weekend uh, wherever you are in the world and that you're all staying nice and safe and things aren't uh, too hectic for you in your lives whatever you're doing, wherever you're going I hope you're all being careful and obeying the rules of wherever you are so if the rule is that you have to wear a mask you wear a mask and you know I would hate for any of you to get ill because I appreciate all of you and a uh, big welcome to anybody new to the channel. I may not have said it at the beginning like I normally do, but I do appreciate the fact that you've decided to join me. 
and I, I do hope you will stick around for a bit because I have got way over 200 colouring books and more coming because I'm mad and I will admit it I am a bit crazy when it comes to these things I love colouring books and I love art supplies I've always loved stationery and I guess art supplies pens pencils and um, sharpeners can, could come under stationery so yeah I do enjoy colouring I enjoy talking to you I love to hear what you're up to so if you have a channel let me know by uh, leaving me a comment down below saying I have a channel and I will go and have a look at it and I will subscribe I generally do subscribe to everybody who's got a colouring channel yes, when I find them uh, and then uh, if you have an Instagram let me know down below and I will go and follow you even if it's you know if it's colouring great if it's photography great if it's anything else that's great too you know I, I, I like to have a look at people's photographs I'm, I'm just a nosy person I was thinking is this weather it is all these insects everywhere get out of it <laughs> yeah, everywhere they are okay I'm going to have a look at what colour I want for because we want a nice sort of not bright red I'm just trying to think what colour we need for the mushrooms and the strawberry so we're going to go with I think I'll go with Scarlet Lake if I can find it let me have a quick look what number is it 923, it's probably one of these up here, surely. What's this, what's this one here? There's one missing up here, I think. No, it's just I put them back in the wrong ones. Crimson Lake is the first one I put my hands on. How clever is that? And it's also a short one, which is why. It's obviously one I use a lot of. Just to give it a quick sharpen. to do up here now so I'm just having a go like I said it's not going to be perfect I'm not brilliant I'm not the best colorist I color because I enjoy it, it helps me relax it really does you know I just enjoy the process of coloring pictures in and making some of my own okay. and Jennifer loves colour, if I start colouring she will want to colour as well so I do try and um get her to colour if I if I if she's misbehaving or if she's I ran out of time so I was just saying that I let Jennifer you know if she's um, misbehaving I just sit there calmly I just tell her no get out a colouring book and some pens and gel pens start colouring and then she she'll want to do what I'm doing so she'll then come over with some paper and grab a couple of gel pens and start just scribbling on a pad and I just let her get on with it because gel pens are cheap enough to replace she doesn't get she hasn't got hold of my expensive sakura jelly rolls they are upstairs out of the way in my box in my um supply box which lives under the spare bed which is where i'll be sleeping tonight just because it's late and then she will she'll color with me she'll just scribble and then she'll show me them and then she'll do three or four and then she'll go and show Paul she'll say daddy and I'll say oh you want to show them to daddy and she'll go yeah and then I'll hand them to her and she'll uh, go trot over to see daddy and show him her sparkly scribbles because it's mostly um I mostly use glitter pens I don't really use the other gel pens I have got a basket full of gel pens that I hardly use I just 
I gotta start using them on something, I tell you. Because it's and I'm gonna get more on the weekend if I get these ones from Liddles. And I really hope they've got them in because they are they were really nice ones. They had some lovely colours in the set. And I think it's the same ones they had before. And I'll make a note of the brand then and I'll also be able to sort out which ones are metallics and ridiculous colours that some of them have. I don't know. So we've got another first impressions coming up this week. It's um, a set of metallic pens, you would have seen them in my haul. They're the gu gu Guana or something they're called. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything about them, you will see them on, Mon on Tuesday night. Because obviously Monday night is the weekly vlog. Monday we have the weekly vlog, Tuesday we have first impressions, Wednesday will be another colour and chat. And then normally on Thursday, that's not sharpening, I think it needs emptying again. The only thing with these to get all sharpness, they, don't, they fill up so quickly because it's just got a very small reservoir to hold the, the sharpenings in. That's it, yeah. That's the only problem with them. Um, yeah, so Thursday, I was going to put one up, so I normally put up um, a flip through, and I've just forgotten this week, so you might have noticed you had a flip through today because I forgot to put one up the other day. So. And I've got quite a few, and I've got more books coming, so there will be more flip throughs. And I'll be filming a load of flip throughs soon as well, because I've got a few books that need to be flipped. The only ones I really do straight away is anything that's brand new that comes out, whether it's Jade Summer or Creative Haven, if if I ever get them, because they 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 say they're coming out on this date, and then they just don't they don't in the UK, and it's a nightmare. Um, and then obviously the new Jade Summer ones I do and of course the Curran Heavens and the Curran Heavens you get the day I get it so that it's brand new because I think because it's only out for like a month four weeks it's available for in the shops before the next one comes out I think it's nice for you to have the option of um, seeing what's in it and then you've got plenty of time to go and get it whereas if I left it it probably wouldn't get done till after it was off sale and then you'd be like well that's pointless I can't I can't get that now so when they come out you get an extra video <laughs> and I love getting those they're my favourites this is going to take a hell of a long time to to do Ugh, why did I say I'd do this I do like grayscale I like doing grayscale with markers but I thought I'd have a go with pencils and I'm not enjoying it very much well I am but I don't know I don't know why I'm not enjoying it um well I am enjoying it because it's coloring and I, I could just sit here and do this like this all night I won't because Jennifer will be getting me up before long well you know eight o'clock in the morning it's going to take a while to do. I'm not sure I like the way that this pencil's actually going on here. I know it's probably just going to need lots of layering isn't it and I hate that. I just, mm. I think it's just because I'm tired. I just, But I am liking, I'm, I like the picture. It's going to take a lot longer to get it ready than get it finished I think. Go back to this section, go back over that. So yeah, grayscale is very, I think, with pencils anyway, quite labour intensive. Because if I was doing this line art, I probably wouldn't worry so much about it. But because it is grayscale, I want it to look nice. Isn't that weird? It's looking better now. Yeah, it's just going to need a bit of going over, that's all. 
how much more I'm going to do tonight, I don't know. Because this is going to take, we've been doing, we've done 40 minutes already. So I don't mind going for a bit longer and trying to do a bit more of this um, thing. But, oh my life. I'm going to need to order another one of these Scarlet Lakes. I'm going to have to make a list of colours I need, I think, and order them from Colour Pencil Shop when they get them in. If they haven't already, because some... Because of COVID, there's a lot of places that you can't get the stock of various bits and pieces because they've got to come from different countries. So it's getting a bit better now. So hopefully everywhere is going to be restocking soon. We are still waiting for the Monarchs in the UK. I really want them to come in, which is the Black Widows. So you will get a video on those as soon as they arrive. Um, uh, it'll be an unboxing, it'll be a first impression, so you, you'll get it on the first Tuesday after I get them. Um, which will be nice. And I've got two first impressions I'm currently working on for you. Um, if I hadn't been so late tonight, I probably would have filmed a bit tonight. I might film some tomorrow. Yeah, I might film a bit smart. I am itching so much, it's unreal. It's, it's the heat. The sun's got to me. So. This is absolutely going to take forever. Do you really want to see me colour this whole picture in? Because it's going to take forever. And I don't mind. It's up to you. I'm just thinking that, oh... And I've just got that corner right, and I, you know, if you look at it, I've hardly touched the mushroom, and her skin looks all right though. It might need a bit more colour. Uh, give me a suggestion of what colour prisma to put on on her skin, just to make it look, look a bit better. I have to get a notebook out and start making a note of which prismas I need. No, I'll have to see if I can get hold of those particular colours. I know I've got another uh, cream one, a uh, peach. Cream peach. So I don't need that. All the pollies, I can go to Hobbycraft and get pollies because. Um, the Hobbycraft sell them open stock, but I haven't been there in ages. It's one of those places I just don't go because it's it's not in the main drag. It's on a an estate with a with a big Tesco and a few other bits. I love going there, but uh, I could. I wish they sold open stock Prismas. I'd be definitely down there then if they did. But uh, sadly, they don't. All right, guys, I'm going to have to call, call it a night because I'm absolutely shattered. So, we've literally all we've done in 40 minutes is her face, shoulders, and part of her hair piece, her head, headdress, and yeah, I still think there needs more done on her face, more colour on her face, so I'm going to have a look at, see what I can find out tomorrow, but I'm not going to do any of it today. Um, I will see you in the next one, I hope you've enjoyed this little colouring chat, I don't like to make them too long for you, I could make them a lot longer if you want. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I pop up a new, new video. Excuse me, I'm going to yawn. I will see you in the next one. We will carry on with this on Wednesday night. See you then. Bye.